Senator Kirsten Cinema, IRES, will not run for re-election and will leave the chamber at the end of the year, she announced Tuesday in a video on social media. This leaves Democratic Representative Ruben Gallego and Republican Kerry Lake as the major candidates competing for the seat Cinema occupies in the upcoming election. Gallego thanked Cinema for her service to the state in a statement Tuesday. Lake wished Cinema well and said she knows the senator shares her love for Arizona. Cinema did not offer an endorsement in her video announcement. 0.37%. That's the percentage of support Lake has in the latest Rasmussen Reports poll done at the end of February, according to 538. That's three percentage points more than Gallego, who polled at 34%. The poll showed Cinema in third at 21%. Cinema surprised many at the end of 2022 when she switched her party affiliation from Democratic to Independent. When she announced her decision she said it was a natural extension of her time in office, noting she has joined the growing number of Arizonans who reject party politics by declaring her independence from the broken partisan system in Washington. Her political stance, specifically her objection to eliminating the filibuster, caused headaches for Democrats' agenda during President Joe Biden's first two years in office, when major pieces of legislation passed the then-Democratic-controlled House only to be stonewalled in the Senate. Her 2022 stance against filibuster reform that ended up blocking voting rights protections led the Arizona Democratic Party's executive board to formally censure her. Had Cinema and fellow retiring centrist Democratic Senator Joe Manchin supported the effort, Democrats would have been able to accomplish more of their agenda. Cinema also objected to Democrats' $3.5 trillion spending bill in 2021, which sought to pass a number of Democratic priorities, angering many members of her former party in the process. Cinema was elected to the Senate in 2018. Before that, she represented Arizona's 9th Congressional District for six years. She also served in the Arizona House of Representatives for three terms.